health inequalities in the city are huge. There's a 10 year difference in life expectancy between people who live here, people who live four miles over there. There's a burden of chronic diseases, cardiovascular disease, there's a huge rate of diabetes, which is higher this side of the city, and patients can't access the services in the same way. I spoke to a lady today with anxiety. Um, I said to her, have you got internet access? And she said, no. And basically all the wraparound services for anxiety at the moment are being delivered online. So I have nothing to offer her other than me. A lot of our elderly ladies, they had a lot of issues to come out because they wasn't confident enough. Most ladies the same like me. They're all scared to go out on their own. There's a real push towards social prescribing. It's been recognised much more as a core health need, looking at social and emotional as well as mental health and physical health. But we're not resourced in this area. For example, we've only got one social prescriber. In a very large deprived network, we probably need about 10 social prescribers. Whereas in a smaller network, in areas of more affluent parts of the city, they also have one social prescriber where people don't have food insecurity or housing insecurity. So I think that's very frustrating. What drives me? The people. My name is Yvonne Witter. I'm one of the senior health and wellbeing worker at Dana Wellbeing. My name is Nora Lee and I'm from Shipshape Health and Wellbeing Centre. <laughs> we do activities to encourage people to move more, manage their health, get fit, socialise and to reduce isolation. Community leaders understand the community groups they work within better than anyone else. So of course they're perfect for identifying where is the greatest need. GP referred me to Shipshape and then after that I become a health champion. So we started a very small group on Tuesdays to a walking group. We had a group of Asian women that came out for a walk and to talk to one of our workers around managing their diabetes and how they've been affected in lockdown. That kind of really, really helped them with their mental health. So as part of that, we, we kind of said, well, actually, we're going to go and play Beat the Street. And they were like, well, what's Beat the Street? Beat the Street was a six week long game all across the city. What Beat the Street did was help to encourage people to change their behavior, to become more active or maybe use active travel, walking, running, cycling, because they had motivation of the game. So we got them signed up with a card and they actually got really excited because they had something that they could take away. They didn't have to wait for a session on a Tuesday with Ship Shape. They were able to take that back to their families, take their grandkids. A very nice activity. Yeah, it's a kind of exercise and we are walking here and there and it, we are doing it as a community so I love it. We had over 60,000 people engaged and playing the game which is amazing. That's about 10% of the population of Sheffield which is just phenomenal. It's just that card holding itself. It's just like getting some points. I think they loved it. These were older women in their 50s, in their 60s who have never been out. No everyday walker and his husband and his wife Every day, walk, 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 walk. They want to be more active because of a health condition and they have the opportunity to ask questions and to meet other people and that way socialising helps you to learn from others and manage your health condition. So I need your GP. They ask me about the problem. They are like in my family. They're very kind with me. They help me. I didn't know I can get all this exercise. When you go out and just you feel happy and safe mentally and physically, it's really good. It created something more than just go and tap, tap a beat the street box. It actually connected communities together. We'd like it to be as easy as possible for everybody in Sheffield to experience the benefits of active living. So it was a brilliant opportunity for us to deliver a beat the street game, to start conversations about physical activity and think about ways of being active that they might not have done before. If people are well looked after on a community level, they come less to the GPs and they go less into expensive secondary care. It it would be amazing if the powers that be would properly look at funding to areas of deprivation and properly commit to improving health inequalities and that doesn't mean necessarily spending more money on health by any means but just look at the bigger picture. We'd all like to see health inequalities eradicated. 
and there's a mission to do that within a generation. If we can work together, we can reshape the system in Sheffield so that it makes it easier for everybody to be active. Mm -hmm.